All right, sorry about that. The phone uh, got too much uh, footage. <laughs> so um, we're again in Judges 19, verse 24. Behold, here is my daughter, a maiden, and his concubine. Them I will bring out now, and humble ye them, but and do with them what seemeth good unto you, but unto this man do not so vile the thing. Right. But the men would not hearken to him, so the man took his concubine, mm -hmm, only the concubine, and brought her forth unto them, and they knew her, and abused her all the night. That's what the they say sex with her. <laughs> <clears throat> Until the morning. Mm -hmm. And when, so she's being gang raped, right? The day began to spring, they let her go. <coughs> mm -hmm. Then came the woman in the dawning of the day and fell down at the door of the man's house where her Lord was, till it was light. Mm -hmm. And her Lord rose up in the morning and opened the doors of the house and went out to go his way. And behold, the woman, his concubine, was fallen down at the door of the house when her hands were upon the threshold. And he said unto her, Up, and let us be going, but none answered. Mm -hmm. Then the man took her up upon an ass, and she's dead by now, right? So you're not supposed to touch a dead body. Yeah, no, no, no. And the man <laughs> rose up and got him unto his place and when he was come into the house his house he took a knife and laid hold on his concubine and divided her together with her bones into twelve pieces right and sent her into all the coast of Israel mm -hmm. right <laughs> so he mutilated her dead body <laughs> Afterwards, cut her up into 12 pieces and sent her to the 12 tribes. Okay, this is stuff I'm reading. <laughs> okay, around the same time as I'm dealing with all of this, too. I you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're going to let me be around your daughter, but I'm not trying to re be around a child, but an adult. But. And, uh, I'm on the couch trying to move back to base. <laughs> but you're going to let me think your daughter is with, in there with me alone. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I don't know why she would do that. So the alternative is someone attacked me on base because they were in the gay navy, right? Like I said before, mm -hmm. and I was attacked on base, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Cause I don't remember passing the wind election. And then waking up in the ER. And, uh, and if my wife got me on base, off base, would she bring me back on and dump my body behind the barracks? Or if you know what I mean? <laughs> she would dump my body somewhere. <laughs> but I doubt it would be behind the barracks. I don't know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ain't that where I was found? Right. Okay. <laughs> Right. There's a mystery right there. Did Jesus teleport me wherever she dumped my body? Because it would not be on the base because 
if I go off base and I don't have my ID, how would I get back on base? It's in the room, dude, with the wallet and the money. <laughs> if they didn't find the wallet and the money, that means someone stole the key anyway. I know. To get in the room to get the wallet and the money. I know. And none of that makes sense. <laughs> Does it? No. <laughs> But it don't look like I just fell three stories. The sacrum is damaged. <laughs> Not as if in the fall, but multiple breaks throughout it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the pelvis itself is flat. It's flat. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. But see, the sacrum and the bone are supposed to be all that. It's supposed to be even. Uh, it's this, it's this. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to be as if there's no bone there, right? This is going down, right? And see, that would also explain why I wouldn't really feel anything like that, I guess, right? I don't know. Cause he, mm, mm -hmm.
Okay, I am Dr. Pat.